Hi folks, this is Jason. Hope you're okay today. I'm doing a 10 part series on skepticism because I really, I really just feel that it's something that I can talk about because I have had quite a bit of experience the last two years uh, studying atheism and talking with atheists and listening to them. And I genuinely, really just want to share these thoughts because I really. I really want you to come to know the Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to know Him. I want you to find peace in Him, uh, your salvation in Him. And I just want to expose some myths that skeptics propound, and just to answer those myths. Um, and I hope that you'll be open-minded to listen to what I have to say. For those who know me quite well on YouTube, some of the atheists, you've probably heard some of these things before, but you probably hear 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 those things in a in a different way. Because I'm saying these things because I really want you to find Jesus. The first thing that the first myth I want to explore is skeptics will tell you that. Christianity is not about science, that it contradicts science. And you will get a lot of skeptics in the books that they read they, they write, famous skeptics, famous atheists, and on YouTube, famous YouTubers, who will continually say that Christianity and Christians are not scientific, they are not interested in science or they completely do rubbish science etc and I just want to tell you that that is a myth that is really a myth I can prove that quite easily by just looking at the history of science uh, if you look at the history of science right up from right up to the 11th century AD Christianity has played a central role in the development of science the scientific method and science. Francis Bacon uh, was a person in history who developed a reasoning process and um, laid the foundations for the scientific method. He was a Christian. Uh, you had Galileo, Copernicus, um, you had um, Isaac Newton, um, Pascal, Descartes uh, and Faraday all these people had tremendous influence on the development of science and they were all influenced by Christianity absolutely influenced by Christianity and some of the best uh, scientists today uh, in various fields are Christians so I would encourage you to, to not think that Christianity is against science. Um, God encourages to use our mind, he encourages to research and to think about science and to look into science. So just looking at the history of science, excuse me, shows you that Christianity has been central in the development of the scientific method. And the skeptics will give you the impression that it was the skeptics who somehow discovered the scientific method and are the guardians of the scientific method but actually when you look at the history of the development of science Christians were at the centre of, of the development of science throughout history and this picture that the sceptics paint is just not true to reality. Thank you.